We're here with former European Commission President and former Luxembourg Prime Minister Jacques Santerre, a man who knows how to navigate political waters. Uh, Mr. President, these are difficult times for any political party. How do you view the working of the Barroso administration in handling what seems to be intractable problems? As you said, it's a very difficult time for all parties, but nevertheless, I think uh, for the European People's Party, it's also the challenge uh, that uh, also our, our, let's say, fundamental doctrine from the social market system is coming back. Uh, and I think that is a chance also for, uh, for the European economy that we stick better to the social market economy that we did in the past. That uh, I think uh, that's coming up again. Our, let's say, our, uh, our fundamental uh, believings in Europe, uh, because we achieved in as uh, our market economy, our social market economy, seems to me be the intermediate phase between the liberal system, the capitalism, uh, and the socialist system. So I think that's a real chance and a challenge. So, so, you, so you still have faith in the capitalist system? Uh, 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 I think there's no alternative uh, to, uh, to a liberal uh, market uh, system. But nevertheless, we have to, to, to deal uh, with uh, becoming back to the fundamentals of the social market economy. That seems, seems to me that's very important nowadays. Would you support uh, President Barroso to continue uh, his mandate? It's not up to me, <laughs> of course, uh, to decide. But, You're a man uh, of some weight. <laughs> but what uh, the Commission did uh, was, in, was in the right direction. I hope only, and I expect that the European Union would be able to speak with one voice uh, after the ratification of the Lisbon Reform Treaty. I hope so that it will uh, come into force. That, uh, that we uh, also uh, give much more power uh, and play our role as the main actor on the political level uh, in a multipolar world. I think there is a Europe place. Where Europe has to stand, it's important. We have now the European Union with uh, 27 ma member states, 500 million in inhabitants. We are a big force, but we have to valorize all these political potentialities we did not yet. Some people like to draw comparisons between the European Union and the United States, the United States of Europe. In the United States, you have 50 states, all Americans. Here you have 27 different nationalities and Eurosceptics. The, the Lisbon Treaty uh, being voted down in Ireland, Eurosceptics currently heading the EU presidency. How you know, do you draw them together? Our view was never to build up the United States of Europe like the United States of America. We always believe in the nation state. The nation state uh, is a different. You know, here in Poland, you see that it's a long history we have, and we have our own identity. We would remain Poli Polish, Luxembourg, German, French, and yes. so on, mm -hmm. and a unified uh, uh, Europe. What we have to, to join our forces is in a diversified manner, but to maintain our identity. And that's it's the diversity in Europe. That's the features of Europe. Yet at the same time, do you think it's the overarching common denominator that there, are, there is such a thing as European values, no matter what your nationality is? Yes, I think we have common values and we have to stick to these values. And we as the European People's Party, we always, we are the promoters of these values in all Europe. And I am very glad, I am very happy as a former president of the European Commission that for the first time since the 15th century, since 15th the 15th century. Century, 15th century, we united our continent in peace and freedom. And that is a success story. Well, it's, that's been a difficult task for anybody, anybody to handle, certainly. Um, beyond um, the economic crisis, do you think that you will eventually have ratification of the Lisbon Treaty? I, I, I hope so. I am quite confident that uh, our Irish friends uh, would ratify it uh, in the second <laughs> wave of the Lisbon Treaty. And uh, then we would have also a new construction new institutions with yes. strengths in our force, also internationally. And that's very important, that we can speak with one voice, and that was also the difficulty nowadays uh, in Europe, that we have not this 
unique voice. We speak with uh, 27 voices sometimes. Do you think you can fend off the socialists? They say you're to blame for, for what's happening economically, the center-right party. Uh, you know, uh, you understand that, uh, yes, I think uh, economically we have to overcome our, our, our difficult situations. That's quite clear. But we have now to work very hard is that also our structural reforms of all our member states would come to an end. And that uh, I think we have many potentialities in this single market uh, with uh, more than, as I said, uh, at least 500 billion in evidence yes. to valorize all this potentiality politically, of course, but essentially also economically. Th that leads me to my final question for you. A lot of people blame what's happening in the world on a single attribute, greed. Bankers, allegedly, are smart. Economists, financiers. Was it greed that brought, almost brought down this system? I don't think so. But we have to, to come back, uh, as I said before, to our fundamentals. Uh, I think uh, many people, you say bankers, financiers, and even some supervision uh, committees, uh, they, un they did over overestimated their forces and the people now we are coming back to a more fundamental let's say more uh, healthy work we have to learn to do in, uh, for the future and that perhaps if we take the challenge and the opportunities today i think europe as the european union would have a chance in a new world order tomorrow Succinctly put, uh, a call for the European People's Party conference here in Warsaw, Poland, to come together and find a fundamental return to its roots. I'm Andy DeBillis with NETV with former European Commission President Jacques Santer, Warsaw, Poland.